Hello everybody, thank you very much for tuning in to your weekly reading with me, Lorian. Um, you joined me on the floor <laughs> um, because it was very difficult to get a camera angle um, on my altar. It just kept falling off all the time. Um, so it's much better for on the tripod or on something steady and me sitting near my altar, um, which is Freya's altar, this one. Um, this week we're going to be using the Earth Magic Oracle deck by Stephen D. Farmer. And this is for the 1st to the 7th of May. I honestly don't know where April went. Seems like it was only yesterday that we were saying white rabbits for the beginning of the month. Um, but this is a general reading and this is for all signs. If it is more personal reading that you're after, I would encourage you to just check out my website for all the readings that I offer. And if you'd like to become a Patreon, you can do that on the link below. And for as little as a dollar, you can get access to all the additional readings and vlogs and Q and A's and things like that that I'm planning to do. Um, I was really working on the <laughs> um, new moon in Taurus. I was really, really working on um, you know new ways to engage people and new ways to kind of build the channel up to bring more spiritual guidance and more understanding of maybe just where we are in, in general in the world and um, yeah so I'm really hoping to see this come through to be perfectly honest with you it seems like it's going to be quite a time um, so let's have a look so let's have a see what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shuffle the cards now and I want you all to kind of breathe in with me and just see if we can actually connect. Okay, so they are telling me that there's something that, something that we're missing. card is lake stillness if you are still you will listen that's what they just said to me so just put that in there the next one volatility volcano the next one blessings rainbow and the next one is waterfall effortless so we had lake and we had a waterfall then we had a bit of um, volatility a little bit of blessings as well. Okay. I'm gonna go with the first message. Be still and you will listen it seems to be something. Sorry, I keep getting this like tickle on my face. And I know that it's spirit coming through, but I wish they'd wait until I was off the video before they did it. Um, but this is something that I feel that everybody has a connection to. Everybody seems to need to be still and listen to the universe around them. People do need to look inside of themselves. That's what they just said to me. You need to look inside of yourself. You need to see what it is that you are trying to achieve in your own life before you try and achieve anything outside of it with others. Um, I would also say that there's quite a significant amount of pull here. Um, yeah, there's pull to listen to your instincts. There's pull to connect in a general way this pull to see and breathe and be and just maybe ground yourself um it's the dawning of a new week the dawning of a new time and i feel as though on the first of may everybody should kind of just be excited because may and june held so many possibilities and that's honestly what i'm feeling coming through in many readings, many personal readings, I'm feeling that May and June hold so many possibilities and solutions um, that I truly think that we are on the road to something really great. So this is a really good card to have. Be still and you'll be able to hear things. But of course, we have something that comes through with volatility. And I feel that your stillness is to combat this volatility. The stillness to listen and take our cue from maybe spirits who are not particularly 
um, getting through to us generally in the hubbub of general life we have to kind of understand that they are always there to guide us to the better sometimes it may seem like a hard ass decision um, that they want you to make but be true to yourself and if somebody's volatile around you if you feel like you're in a volatile situation do not um, rise to that occasion do not let your buttons be pushed by somebody so silly don't do it basically just try and connect within yourself and be more present if you know communities can have ups and downs and you know especially governments when they spring like new elections on people um they can be up and down and ups, you know they, they just like it's problematic i think is the word and i think that a lot of these times is to just kind of breathe let things settle down and in the face of this do not be as volatile as that um, especially this week sometimes yes it requires force of nature and it requires um, direct action and speaking up and all that kind of stuff but I think you need to listen to the truth of what this hubbub is so somebody might be trying to make a mountain out of a molehill and what you need to do is kind of listen and be still and hear the truth of what it is that's going on they're sprouting about one thing but actually there's something different in the background so you need to be aware of that and then we have blessings rainbow so this comes through saying that you know despite all the volatility there are still blessings on the way there are still things that we need to look out for in regards to the good things now yeah, i'm not saying that there's going to be a tragedy this week but in the face of tragedy people must always look to those who are helping they must always look to those who are trying to make things better rather than trying to make things worse and i think that's going to be us this week we're always going to try to make things better we're going to be the ones that people look to um to improve things and i think that you're going to feel more whole and more productive and more um this is the energies that are going to come and help us anyway if you have a migraine for seven days you're probably not going to want to do anything but the general consensus is that the energy is coming through thank you for tickling my face once again um the, yeah, the general energy coming through is that it's quite positive um charge electrical charge that's coming in and i think we should all embrace that charge because i do think that you need to they even just straighten me then it was like you need to be more poised and just kind of you know it's just stand like a queen i think they were saying just stand like a queen and then you will actually feel as though you're getting through to something in particular if you do sorry i just leaned right out of the thing um, if you do um, connect with yourself and connect with that blessings and rainbow and stuff, you do feel effortless to me. And I would say that there's so much that you have not seen, so much you have not done, so much that you have yet to experience that you may, you may um, struggle a little bit with just kind of letting yourself go. Some of you do not like knowing sorry some of you do not like not knowing what is on its way i can understand that i'm a scorpio we need to know everything but the main thing is that you just need to kind of put yourself in the universe's hands and go okay take me take me to wherever you want to go and that i think is the difference that is just a plain old difference as to what you have to kind of see and you know interpret in this kind of general feeling basically They are saying that once you get things going, once you recognise the blessings and once you kind of use that charge, you will find things much more effortless than when you began them. So for instance, I know I use this analogy all the time because I'm a writer, but if you have started writing a book and you're like, it's not working for me, chances are you may need to change the project or change something about it. But it's what's looking at the solution and you're going to find it effortless and you're going to find that connection moving forwards a lot quicker. So despite the volatility this week, despite the craziness that seems to be coming through from everything this week, the main theme seems to be that you have to kind of um, understand your own power, understand the stillness that you need to be in order to connect to the grander scheme of things, um, understand that you are not alone. There are communities around and that, you know, spiritual communities, spirit guides, whoever you believe in will be there to assist you and help you and i think that's the main thing that they want you to take from it is that you just ask when you need the help um but i do believe that this is the start of something new i've got a very good 
feeling here that there's going to be something starting new there's going to be so much more than we can see now if we can just get through this week and if we can just face the volatility with our peaceful hearts I think that we will be able to stand tall and actually see things for what they are um, and maybe win a couple win a couple of things um, but what have you got planned this week is there anything that you're facing a very volatile time is there anything that you have kind of wanted to look into at all um, do let me know in the comments below and thank you as always for commenting sharing liking subscribing it really does make my day and I love hearing from you again if you do want a private reading you just click on a link to my website and I'll be able to book you in and in general it just feels like it's a great month ahead so I'm looking forward to do the reading I will be doing the next week's reading shortly after this so I'm just gonna go straight into this because I don't know whether I'll time I'll have time next week um, so if you're thinking Laurie and you're not changing um, it's because I've done it in one um, but yeah I really wish you all the best of luck and I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Take care of yourselves and I'll speak to you all soon.